What's up friends? I'm a little strapped for time right now, but I wanted to kind of give you um, just an overview, kind of a look at our entire process for the week of getting ready for um, a Sunday. I know I've done a lot of pieces, a little rehearsal piece Sunday morning, but um, I wanted to kind of give you a more in-depth look throughout the week. So today's Tuesday. Um, it is 6.30, so I am running up to the choir room. So also a little bit of adjustment specifically for this week. Our worship pastor um, is out. Uh, and so Lewis is covering um, on MD. So my wife is teaching parts this week. So I'm actually running up here. This is our choir room um, or for normal weeks, just rehearsal room, practice room for vocals. So tonight, sorry, I'm out of breath. Been like running all day. Um, tonight, rehearsal, seven to 7.45, I think, is band, um, split, singers by themselves, band by themselves, and then we're coming in from 7.45 to 8.30 and running everything together. So I'm hooking up my computer for my wife to this M-Audio interface, and then the parts uh, are gonna rehearse with these Yamaha speakers. I don't even know what they are, but they're great. Um, so getting that set up for her, and then we're running down to get some rehearsal in. So uh, I'm gonna tag in with Lewis probably later in the vlog and talk about kind of our set this week, kind of what we did, how we look at transitions, how we build the set, um, what we do uh, to try to make everything work throughout the whole service. We're doing band rehearsal tonight. I'm kind of unprepared. I just, man, it's been a busy week so far. It's only Tuesday and been slammed. Um, but uh, so tonight may be a little rough as far as like details for me. It's not that I've never heard the songs. I know the songs, but we're doing some different arrangements, different versions, different stuff. So. I'm a little unprepared versus how I'd like to be, um, but still should be a good time. So let me get the computer set up, get down to the kit, uh, and I'll tag back in with you guys. All right, so singers are good to go. Got my laptop set up for them. So I'm running back down to the kit. And here's Lewis's station. He can explain it maybe some more. So yeah. This is what Lewis has going on. Track computer. He's got his M Audio Code 61. No idea what that means. Got his Nord. This cool Nord setup. Actually, I don't know what that one's doing. I think tracks on this one. So he can probably explain it better. But here's his fancy Nord Electro 6D and stand that he's using. So yeah. Um, let's go over. I'll show you the kit for those of you that are maybe tuning in or you haven't seen some of my previous videos. Um, playing Mapex Saturn 4, um, fast Tom configuration, Mapex Black Widow, um, Black Panther Black Widow, Piesty. I think I'm going to switch out to my 14 inch Modern Essentials hats, PSTX Swiss Flanger Stack 14 inch. PSTX uh, Splash Stack, 18 inch um, Dark Masters Dark Crash, 20 inch Masters Dark, 22 inch Signature Light Traditionals, which I think I'm gonna switch out for my 21 inch Dark Energy Mark One, and then this is a Black Widow. Uh, I'm sorry, not Black Widow, Black Panther Sledgehammer. So that's the kit. Most of you guys are familiar with it. Um, nothing new necessarily there. Um, I'm actually gonna hop in, get some rehearsal done. Um, because I've got 30 minutes, before, 20 minutes before we start, so, uh, and I need to get some time in on this, and then I'll walk through like planning center and some other stuff with Lewis, um, kind of give you some insight into how we think through our service schedule, what we do, how we landed on the songs we're doing, how we put them together. I say we liberally. Um, I'm not doing much of that, but um, yeah, bring you along for the ride. So get some rehearsal in before the band gets here, some practice time, and then rehearsal with the band. It's important to be prepared for rehearsal. Rehearsal is not personal practice time. Amen. I'll leave you with that. It is now Saturday. That's how the week goes a lot. Um, it's Saturday, it's 4.30 p.m. Back up at the church. Um, I'm gonna set up a bunch of gear, set up my slider here to get the sliding cam shot that you guys like so much. 
get my GoPros going, calibrated, see if I've got a spot for a secondary shot. I haven't really had a great secondary shot, but I may try to mount one here on the percussion setup or something. Um, and then I'm going to walk you guys through PCO. Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to Lewis. It's been a crazy week, but hopefully I may be able to get him on here before the vlog's over. So right now it's set up. I actually really get some real rehearsal in time, rehearsal time in. Uh, I didn't get that earlier in the week. I was going to, hoping to, but just didn't happen. So I did rehearsal. I mean, I know the songs, but um, not to the place of mastery where I can really play them and add some stuff to them. So it's like, learning the beat which a lot of you do you don't learn the songs you learn the groove separate story learn the tempo learn the groove learn the form learn the song master the song but i think you can't really add your own stuff into the song until you understand why the drummer played what they play the function that phil serves before you just take it out replace it anyways um so i'm gonna get some setup done what i'm really hoping to do is is work rehearse Get a lot of good reps in, and I'll be back early in the morning as well. Um, some final stuff before the rest of the band gets here on Sunday morning. So, here we go. All right, so I have my slider here, which we haven't been using because they've been doing like mobile shots, mobile cam shots. So, I'm gonna get the slider set up, figure out what kind of uh, positioning I want to use for it. Um, GoPro, secondary shot. So, this is the Sony A7C. I'm probably gonna use the A6600 as the main shot here, just so I can keep vlogging on this and go ahead and get that camera set up and ready to go. But, yep, here we go. All right, so slider is set up, as you can see. So I've got this guy right here. I captured a little bit on my phone, but I think the angle's gonna be really good. I tested it out though, so I recorded some clips, which I'll show you in a second, um, but that way I can review it and see. I've got all my batteries charging. I haven't really talked about this, but I've got my nice battery box here. So some people appreciate this. Everything's wired in, Velcro. I've got Velcro on the entirety of the box. So it's going in there, and then we have got one cable out. So when I'm done, one cable goes in, case is shut. I can just carry that around instead of carrying a mess of cables. So uh, other normal setup, you know, GoPro right there to get this shot, the overhead shot. Um, and then I think I may, you know, I've got several of the GoPros. I've got the old Hero 5, and then um, I've got a Hero 8. So I don't know. Hopefully the guys are going to be set up. So uh, base is over here. And then we've got, so Ben's on bass, so again our, so Keith is out, Lewis is on keys, so then Ben's on bass, and then we have Jeremiah and Daniel on guitars. So again, this is Lewis's setup, showed you earlier, but it's looking pretty nice. Talk back mic. Um, so I'm going to mess around with a couple more GoPros, it's 528, so 530, uh, some man stuff just takes time. Um, yeah, a couple more things to set up and then it's just all practice mode. But I wanna get everything staged that way tomorrow morning. Everything's good to go. All SD cards are ready, batteries are ready. It's just start, start, start. And then I can come in real early and just record. I've got my other slider, my small slider here, which I don't know if I really have a use for. <laughs> Maybe overkill at this point. Throw a GoPro on it or something. But uh, yeah, I'll mess with a couple more angles. See if there's anything else beneficial to do. And then it's just all practice. All right, it is 7.30. Um, I've had a good rehearsal session, got some stuff set up, and uh, I'm not gonna stay too late tonight. I wanna get a good night's sleep, because I'm back here super early. Got the Logic se uh, session set up, everything's good there, so. Um, got all my GoPros charged, SD cards ready, slider ready, practice done. Um, so I'm gonna rest, get back here early in the morning. So, hopefully I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is 6.38, uh, back Sunday morning. Uh, feeling good? Man, our neighbors were partying all night. But I do have this. I'm a little concerned because I'm stepping out. Double shot energy. So double shot, that implies energy, but this is double shot 
energy. So is this like coffee hits pre-workout? We'll see. I'm veering off of my normal double shot espresso to a double shot energy, but hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Hopefully it's a good thing. Um, so get some rehearsal in, uh, just run the songs again. Sometimes this is important to me because uh, sitting down in one session for me is good to learn, but sometimes my brain can't process and like digest everything. So almost just as important as um, the session where I get to hash everything out is getting multiple reps in. That's why I like to do Saturday night, Sunday morning, um, because it just helps me process, turn it into muscle memory. So that's what I'm trying to do this morning. Um, I got to run here in a little bit and pick up um, iced tea and lemonade, some more iced tea and lemonade for our leadership luncheon when Kroger opens and then run back to the church keep rehearsing. So getting a good start this morning, feeling good. I'm going to run this material and uh, got all my cameras and everything set up. So this morning's going to be pretty simple as far as that, um, which is my goal. I don't want to mess with it on a Sunday morning. I just want to push play, you know, I mean push record and not have to mess with it, look at it, be concerned about it where I can basically ignore it. Um, so, all right, here we go. All right, did my errand. I'm back, 7.30. I couldn't do the double shot energy. I like really sweet energy drinks, but it was just, man, the coffee, it was sweet, it was weird tasting, it was not, not for me. So, while I was there, I picked up this Nitro Cold Brew, which is not too far off the beaten path. I could not find the double shot espresso. Uh, random thing, this flashlight is amazing. This little thing, sorry, excuse me, it's rude. Uh, this little thing is incredible. You can see how small it is in my hand. This is the Streamlight Micro Stream USB. So you just pull this down. Gotta have my face, and there's a charging port right there. Wow, I'm really terrible at showing this. There you go. Close it again. Uh, this thing is tiny. Rechargeable, it has not died once yet. I've used it a lot and is mad bright. Uh, I asked on Instagram a while back what kind of um, small, like everyday carry flashlight you guys used, and um, that was like the number one answer. So I'll link it in the description. I know it's not drum related, but man, this thing is incredible. Fits in your pocket, backpack. I keep it in my backpack, and I use it all the time, especially coming in to the church when it's dark, stuff like that. So, uh, so much better than your phone flashlight. Although, I know that the best flashlight is the one you have with you, so. Phone flashlights convenient. Anyways, gonna be rocking uh, some more rehearsal time before anyone else gets here. Um, get a couple reps in everything, and then not trying to overdo it, not trying to overcook it or get tired. So, feeling good so far. Excited for this morning, and hope to be really, really prepared by the time we get rolling. The brothers are here. The Lewis on keys. Daniel Mindy Sabo. Jeremiah Lascuna and Daniel Minizabla on guitar. Alex Isasa in front of house. Walking over there. Alright, just finished rehearsal. Felt really good. Everything's going great. Doing our pre-service meeting called Spark. I'm gonna set my cameras. And then let's go time. 